Hello and welcome or welcome back. Today I want to share my simple anti-aging skincare routine with you. Skincare is one of those things that can spiral out of control really easily. So I've done a lot of research and spent a lot of time tuning my skincare routine to give me the maximum effectiveness with the fewest number of products. I have seven products that I want to talk to you about today, but that could be trimmed down even further depending on your preferences if you decide you want to do something similar. I have both a morning and an evening skincare routine, and the products that I use are really focused on hydration and anti-aging. Now, I realize you can basically create an overlapping Venn diagram between minimalists and people who use coconut oil for everything, and I don't want to piss off the coconut people, but that just isn't me. I buy my products from Sephora or from my dermatologist, so if you're looking for a video where you can find all the skincare ingredients in your kitchen and eat them, you may be disappointed. That said, I do use a lot of brands that are ecologically mindful. A lot of the ingredients are vegan friendly and organic. So there is something in here for everyone. The first thing I do in the morning is clean my face and I don't do this in a traditional way. I have fairly normal skin and so I don't want to strip out all of the oils and moisture from my face, but I do want to do some mild cleansing so my skincare has a fighting chance of actually making contact with my skin. And so how I do this is to soak this Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner, pour it all over a cotton round, rub that all over my face, and then rinse it off and pat my face dry. I realize you're not supposed to rinse off toners, but I find this to be a really effective alternative to cleansing, and again, I want my skincare to make as much contact with my face as possible. The next thing I do is to use a hydrating serum, and for that I use the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydrating Gel. It's called a gel, I treat it like a serum and use it underneath other skincare. Now, I looked at the reviews for this on Sephora's website before I bought it, and a lot of people were complaining that it's not moisturizing enough. Now, if you're looking for a single moisturizer that you can throw on your face and walk out the door, then I would agree this might not be moisturizing enough, but it is beautiful layered under other skincare. Now, if you don't want to use this exact product, but you do want to use a hydrator before other serums, I really recommend looking for a serum, a hydrating serum that doesn't have a lot of sealants in it. So something without a lot of oils or ceramides or ingredients that are meant to form a protective barrier over your skin because that's gonna prevent other skincare ingredients from actually penetrating through that and making contact with your skin. I follow that step up with a vitamin C serum and for that I use the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. Now, I have used the super gritty 23% L-ascorbic acid from The Ordinary and I just could not get on with that. That stung the bejesus out of my face and I gave it to a friend. I don't have naturally sensitive skin, but I do use a retinoid at night, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And that just, I could not handle the potency of the 23% L-ascorbic acid that The Ordinary makes. This stuff is 15% L-ascorbic acid and it's not gritty at all. The texture is beautiful. I do feel a little bit of tingling whenever I put this on my face, but I like that. It tells me that the L-ascorbic acid is still active and that it's doing its job, but it's not gritty at all. The tingling goes away and it's not remotely painful. Now, the only thing people might not like about this serum is that it is a little bit sticky and tacky looking. The tackiness doesn't actually stay, um, but it does look a little bit shiny on the face. And that is actually intentionally part of the formula. This formula really grips your face and it cannot be rubbed off whenever you put other products on top of it. Just a side note, I know that this product has also gotten a bit of heat for its color. It is a light orange color and some people are concerned that that might mean that it has oxidized, but I'll link in the description down below a video by the Gothamist who knows way more about skincare than I do. And she reached out directly to Drunk Elephant about this issue and the founder of Drunk Elephant wrote her back and assuaged all of her concerns. So don't worry about it. If it's a light orange color, you can watch that video if you need more convincing, but the yellow ascorbic acid is still active Active, unless it turns a very dark brown orange color, you don't have anything to worry about. This product also, it doesn't list the ingredients on the bottle, it does on the box, but this contains sodium hyaluronate cross polymer, which is a really small hydrating molecule that can penetrate into deeper layers of skin and deliver hydration. So if you want to skip a hydrating serum like the Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel, then you could be just fine using this, especially if you have oilier skin, if moisture is not a concern of yours, you could jump directly into this and be just fine. 
My last step in the morning and something no anti-aging skincare video could be without is to apply SPF. I have been using the Kula Mineral Sunscreen in the Cucumber Matte Finish. Now, I love this stuff because it's incredibly mattifying. It gives my face a really finished look without applying makeup and it contains vitamin C and other antioxidants. So if you're having a really lazy day and you do nothing else, you could apply this and get away with not applying any other skincare. My husband actually also really loves this because it's not greasy, it's very mattifying, so this is something we both really like. Now at night I use one of three things depending on what my skin needs, and the thing that I use most often is Retin-A. I started using this about four months ago whenever I saw these really pronounced expression lines on my forehead, so I got my dermatologist to prescribe this for me, it wasn't hard, it just said I want Retin-A, and he was like, cool. Um, so I think that it's been working in the short few months that I've been using it because I already don't notice those lines the way I used to. Retin-A is really great at fighting photo damage. It thins the top layer of skin and thickens the under layers of skin and increases collagen production. Now the difference between a prescription like this and a retinoid that you get over the counter is that an over the counter retinoid still has to be converted by your body into retinoic acid. This already is retinoic acid, and so you're going to see results in a much shorter time frame. Now, this stuff can be a little pricey. I pay $75 for this. I know you can get generic versions, but I'm okay paying for the brand name version because it comes in a pump, and a lot of the generic versions do not. They come in a tube, and I do not want that. So I'm okay with this. I get a pump. I'm happy. And this is still a couple of bucks cheaper than the C Firma Day Serum. So. It is pricey, but I've had this one bottle for four months and it's still going strong, so a little goes a very long way. Now at night, if my face is a bit peely, if I need a break from the Retin-A, then I use the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. Um, this is really hydrating. The main ingredients are water, glycerin, and a bunch of really nourishing oils. I also like that it comes in one of these little pump tops, which is a lot more sanitary than a traditional pot. And my husband also really likes this cream, so it gets the ultimate low maintenance stamp of approval. And by the way, a lot of the Drunk Elephant packaging has pumps like this, but you can't see through the packaging. And every time I finish a Drunk Elephant product, I've broken open the packaging to see if the pumps actually do get all of the product out, and they do. They get every last drop out. Finally, about once a week, or to be honest, whenever I actually remember to use it, I use the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Now, I just mentioned that the full-size Drunk Elephant products are really good at getting all the product out. This is a trial size, and it is not good at getting all the product out, so I've been storing it upside down because there is still product left in there. I still have a couple of uses. Um, so I really like this stuff. I like for my exfoliators to feel like they're working, but I don't want to chemically burn my face, which has happened. I'm looking at you, Kate Somerville Exfolicate. That was not a good experience. but. This has 25% AHA and 2% BHA, so you're getting both surface level and deeper exfoliation with this product. You leave it on for 20 minutes and wash it off and it gets rid of any texture issues. My skin is incredibly soft and smooth after I use this. And I do follow up on days that I use this with the Lala Retro Whipped Cream just to replenish moisture in my skin and nourish it after exfoliating. So those are the seven products that I use as part of my morning and evening skincare routines. And I will pop the names of the products as well as what I use them for somewhere over here, I think, in case you're interested in adopting a regimen similar to this, but you want to use different products to achieve similar results. And I am by no means a dermatologist, but I do pay a lot of attention to my skin and I've done a lot of research. And these are the products that have proven themselves to be effective enough to make the cut. All right, that's it for me today. Let me know in the comments down below if there is a video that you would like to see from me next. A lot of people have requested a house tour, which I would love to do, except our master bedroom and bathroom are currently in shambles because of the bathroom remodel. So I might wait until that's done before I do any kind of home tour, but I've heard you to those of you out there who have requested that. I might do a loungewear or shoe declutter because it's been a while since I've tackled those categories, so that may be up next, but if there's something in particular that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see if I can make that next week. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.